Okay. So here's what's going on. So I, I bagged groceries in Ramstein in 1975. Seriously. And my first boss when I was in high school was Charlie. So Charlie wants to know if I still got it. So if I, so can I bag your groceries for you? Yes, sir. Right. After visiting several Air Force installations in the Middle East, hey, Charlie. General Goldfein has time for one last visit with an old friend. The general is just one of hundreds of baggers since the 70s that Charlie has trained, which is impressive. But his memory of his baggers and their lives afterwards is incredible. A lot of colonels, a lot of chiefs, they all back, come back. Yeah. But they don't forget their first job. That's right. It would seem Charlie isn't just training employees. He's training airmen. Yeah, it just comes back to you like it was yesterday. How old are you now? Almost 80. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a guy hard. Paper or plastic? <laughs> Sir, you, I'm serious. Uh, plastic. Plastic, you, all right. You, you feel like I should be bagging. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's my, it my privilege and all honor. Right. So we, we're teaching a course tomorrow. Um, a flight leaders course. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be an example that I use about servant leadership. Okay. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, man. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Great meeting you. Perhaps General Goldfein first learned about service before self in a place like this. And perhaps Charlie is teaching that lesson to the future chief of staff. So how much longer are you gonna keep working here? Well, as long as my health holds up, why should I stop? You gotta you got to raise the next generation of generals. Oh, no. Senior Airman Nicholas Crisp, Ramstein Air Base, Germany.